the Sweet Willie's Kitchen. It's been a while. It's been a, you know, a couple months right now. So we're, we're back in action. It's the summer months, all these great things. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a series of uh, salad videos. And, uh, but we're going to start off with every great salad has to have a salad bowl. So I was contacted uh, a few weeks ago by the folks at, at Allen Both. And uh, you will we'll put all the uh, links and everything down uh, below. Oh, they what? sent me this great cherry salad bowl. And they sent the official, the new official cutting board of Sweet Willie's Kitchen right here. This little guy right here. So, well, let's talk about cutting boards for, for a bit, all right? Uh, you've got the, the thick plastic ones that you see that you put in the dishwasher and all that. And then you have the plastic sheets, and then you have the good old-fashioned wooden. And each one has its own uh, set of, uh, you know, properties and the like. Uh, and the plastic ones are inexpensive, and it's, in my opinion, it's the only, it's the only thing. They're inexpensive. Uh, good old-fashioned wooden cutting boards. A lot of benefits. Number one, they help your knives hold an edge. Uh, the plastic tends to get a little groovy and it, it, it doesn't react too well to a nice uh, sharpened steel blade, whereas the wood gives a little bit. And all it does is give. The plastic, when you get into that, it gouges and it tends to spread open. So after a while, after about a year or two years of heavy use, what happens is it gets very grainy. So when you start to clean things, things get caught and that means chances for bacteria. Now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to clean, you know, a wooden board. You're going to clean everything. But uh, we have found that uh, for uh, food safety, uh, the wood seems to hold up a lot better. And uh, as far as a wood, a nice wood uh, salad bowl, I mean, the, you know, it's, it's just nice. It doesn't react if you're using stainless steel or whatever. It doesn't react. It just makes for a, a nice presentation. So uh, the folks at Allen Booth sent me uh, these two items to review. Uh, there's also going to be a coupon code at the bottom called Willie11. Okay, Willie 11, W I L L Y 11. And with that, use that code, you'll get 10% off your first order. There's also will be a link where they're giving away a $250 gift card to use on the website. And once again, we'll provide all that information for you. But the important thing and that I found important, I wanted to get involved with this, is everything here is made in the United States. Okay, the, the, the bowls, these are made up in Michigan. And, uh, Cutty boards and the like, uh, we've seen uh, places of states of origin of Mississippi. So that's stuff that I like to promote. I like to, uh, you know, have part of Sweet Willie's Kitchen. So they send us these two nice things. Now, before we use them, you have to prime it, okay? Remember, we're, we're introducing wet to wood. So we want to get some sort of uh, moisture barrier. And the way of doing that is through use of a mineral oil. I'm going to use a food grade mineral oil. Now I use this on all my cutting boards, all right? In this case, what we'll do is you'll, we'll give this a nice coating, okay? And uh, this is going to be pretty simple here. So I'm just going to put this upside down here, all right? There. And again, you wash your hands, food safety. And basically, just give it a give it a good rub down. As you can see, the water, the uh, the wood. Well, the bowl start to absorb this. Now, these you wouldn't be putting in the dishwasher. You'd be rinsing them out with soap and water. Okay. So what we're going to do is just like you would your uh, your mitts, your uh, your baseball gloves, if you would. Right? You want to give a nice coat of oil on them, right, to help protect and keep everything uh, flexible. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a good coating, let it absorb overnight. Okay, and then, again, like I said, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give this a good soaking, and we do the same thing with the cutting board. And we'll leave this overnight. Now, they recommend, and it's you know, common place after, you know, like the first year or so, you, you wanna do this once a month, all right? So we wanna make sure this is done every, once a month, uh, but when we get back, okay, we're going to do our first uh, salad, and it's going to be a chicken Caesar salad. We're going to use.
There's uh, some chicken tenderloins, and while those are cooking, we're going to work up a uh, we'll work up uh, the uh, classic Caesar dressing with that. So again, I'm going to let these set overnight, and when we get back tomorrow, we'll come back and we'll put this uh, first salad together. So we'll see you tomorrow.